More than a century ago, one man dreamed of lighting up the entire planet without wires. His name was Nikola Tesla. Today, his inventions power our cities, our phones, and even our dreams. But behind his genius was a lonely, misunderstood soul, a man who saw the future long before the world was ready to believe him. Tesla wasn't just an inventor, he was a man obsessed with unlocking the universe. In his tiny New York lab, he created lightning with his own hands. He believed energy was everywhere, in the air, in the ground, even in space, and that one day, humanity could pull power straight from the Earth itself. In 1899, Tesla moved to Colorado Springs. Locals thought he was mad. Every night, flashes of blue lightning burst from his laboratory. The ground shook. His neighbors said they could hear the hum of the earth. But Tesla wasn't performing tricks. He was experimenting with wireless electricity, something that even today, scientists are still perfecting. Then came his greatest dream, the Wordenclyffe Tower. It was built to send messages, energy, and information through the air across oceans. In other words, Tesla imagined Wi-Fi, smartphones, and wireless energy in 1901. But powerful men didn't like that idea. Investors wanted profit, not free power for the world. They cut off his funding, and the tower was destroyed. Tesla died alone in a small New York hotel room in 1943. He had no money, no fame, and no one beside him. But his ideas didn't die with him. Today, from wireless charging to renewable energy, from electric cars to radio waves, Tesla's vision is finally coming true. He once said, the present is theirs, the future for which I really worked is mine. And he was right. The man who dreamed of a connected world never got to see it but his dream became our reality.